Hi, I'm Josh Vernon from the Josh Vernon Group at Brick Realty and Trustful. Let us know if we can help you buy or sell a home. Well, we are the Red Mountain Search Dog Association, and we are an all-volunteer association of canines, handlers, and support team. And what we are offering is a service to law enforcement and first responders to the central Alabama area for finding missing or lost persons, whether they be children uh, that have wandered off you know, from a campsite or maybe uh, a patient with Alzheimer's who has wandered away from uh, an adult center, something like that. And right now we have uh, 10 members uh, with several canines. And so what we want to be able to do is just to get the word out to organizations around this area that we are a resource for them and that we would like to be able to assist if they could use our services. Uh, part of our policy is that we have to be called out. We just don't show up and we are not self-deployed. The best kind of dogs for this type of job, typically uh, it can be a m different kinds of breeds, a multitude of breeds, but mainly uh, working dogs are more often not than used. Uh, temperament is a big focus. Not only do the dogs need to be obedient and have good focus, but they need to have really a high prey drive and they just need to want to work. Uh, one of the things I think I've heard is, you know, with people, we work to live while well, these dogs work to play. In other words, we try to teach these dogs to associate a reward, whether it be food or play, when they find the subject that we're looking for. And so we need dogs that can not only mentally perform the task, but physically can perform the task. So, and they also need to be friendly. I mean, because they're interacting with people, these are not apprehension dogs. These are not dogs looking for uh, people who are criminals, let's say. These are for these dogs are looking for people that need to be found or want to be found. Well, the things that we do when we're called out, we train weekly and sometimes more than that. But as far as uh, the handlers and the search team is concerned, we all have to be very skilled as far as things as our orienteering, use of a map and a compass with uh, communications. We all are either ham radio or amateur radio certified or working toward that. Uh, being able to read maps, being able to survive in the wilderness, also being able to administer basic first aid. If we were to come across a missing person uh, and they needed basic first aid, we need to be able to offer that to them until uh, they can get more advanced medical support wherever they may be located. And the way we train, um, we will work with the different canines. The handlers are the ones who are working with the dogs, watching for the dogs' signals and their behaviors. They're interpreting their body language and their behaviors to know when they're in scent, when they've, what we believe, have found the scent of the particular person that we're looking for. And then they're the rest of the team and we're ground support. So I'm the one that's walking along with the handler and the dog. I'm carrying all the supplies, the radio, the map. I'm trying to focus on all that. Uh, these dogs are what are considered area or um, air scent. They're not really using trailing where their nose is to the ground, but their nose is up in the air most of the time. They're using wind currents back and forth to try to find the source of that scent to lead the handler and then that dog is going to come back after it's found the missing person, alert the handler, and then take the handler back and successfully, you know, hopefully find the person that we're looking for. Yay! Yay! Good job! This is canine team three, search complete. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Good. Thank you for finding me. You're so good. Oh my goodness.